Halloween. I have officially entered survival oh, okay. mode. Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. We are now leaving for Nusa Penida and as usual, we're late. We had a little Gojek situation, so we're trying to get there on time. I hope we'll make it. We made it, guys. This one was stressful. We arrived at 7.30. Our boat was at 7.30, but they were late, so we got it. Sorry, one. like 8.15, arrived around 9. So it's say half an hour, 45 minutes ride. We have arrived at the hotel. We're staying at the Sunrise Cottage and let's just see it together, how it looks. Okay, entrance. Wow. So beautiful ready for the day check out the view of our bedroom little temple right on the beach Ooh. and then it's a little bungalow it's super cute the boyfriend it's included in the bedroom <laughs> Simple, but really nice. We have arrived in Crystal Bay, so there is a lot of road. Note that Penida is not easy to access the beaches. You have like half an hour road every time. Um, so you have to have a scooter or a driver. Uh, and the island is pretty big. So the distance are big. Okay, we're getting here. Exciting. Wow. Fresh or French fries? <laughs> we are at Crystal Bay Beach and it's really nice. I was worried it was going to be super crowded, but it's not. It was a little bit around 2 p.m. So if you really want, you know, a really calm beach, you can come here, but come early in the morning. There was nobody. We had lunch in that cute little restaurant that you see in the back over there. So it's on the left side of the beach called Room Paradise. And then um, there was, it was pretty funny because we got into two huge waves while we were having lunch which makes the place pretty unique because you literally have lunch with water under your feet so that was nice 
and yeah it's definitely a really really nice beach to just chill snorkel and swim literally and it's pretty blue blue waters very nice sand and you have plenty of restaurants oh hi guys puppy time we just got back from crystal bay uh, and right on time for sunset at our hotel even though it's called sunrise so i guess the sunrise must be pretty magical uh, there is a little bit of a sunset i am going to sit downstairs put my feet in the water and enjoy the day Good morning everyone, we are leaving on a boat trip and we're gonna go snorkel in a manta point where you're supposed to see manta rays. Don't know how I feel about that, uh, I hope they're not too big, but this is gonna be such a good ride. This is where we're leaving from. How cute, I saw this hotel. And this is our boat for the day. And this is the beach. Woo! Hello, Lisa. Good morning. Wow, the water is so blue. Wow, this is a chic boat. Look at her boat. Ah! <gasps> so nice. Let's do this. I will link down below the place where we rented this boat for four to five hours. Let's go. Lisa's about to vomit. I have officially entered survival mode. I like to snorkel, but I'm scared of deep waters. So she says that, but she dives. Like it makes it I do sense. dive, but I'm I'm still scared of everything that happens down there. He said, he said, like, uh, three the same? No, no, yeah, three the same. Yeah, they kept coming back and going and playing with each other. It was so cool. I thought I was gonna be super scared, but it was really cool. <laughs> Snorkeling point number two. We are at Crystal Bay, the same beach we were yesterday, and we're gonna snorkel around. What are you making fun of, Lisa? You. I can, you know what? I can put it right here. Yeah. I'm gonna insert it right <laughs> here. <laughs> but I can't even. I can't like uh, make fun of you because I'm the same. <laughs> <laughs> but I was scared that I'm just scared. Of, like, but here it's clear. Okay. What? Super clear. Super clear water. Oh my god. Ready? Guys, 
we just finished our third oh, snorkeling. <laughs> We're at our third snorkeling point, which I have no idea what the name is. What's the name? Do you know? So it's this beautiful, beautiful beach. There's like nobody on it right there. So probably not easy to access. Anyway, guys, so one of the things that I wanted to talk about is we've been snorkeling all morning. And as much as we saw manta rays and right now we saw turtles, we saw a lot of plastic too. Baby turtle. Yeah, baby turtle. We saw a lot of plastic. If you're ever snorkeling around, pick up the trash. Because I feel that when I saw so many people in the water, if every in each of us would do it, we, you know, do our part cleaning up a little bit and just making sure the little fish and manta rays and turtles are safe in the water because this is super harmful for them. This is what I wanted to say. If you're snorkeling around here, make your part, take your little piece of plastic, bring it back and make sure it ends up in a trash instead of the water. We just finished the um, snorkeling trip and we're having lunch right next to our hotel. It's called Secret Panida and it's super cute guys. It's like view on the sea the very calm and blue sea and the spot is really pretty um, and yesterday also we ate at Coco Penida and I'll put it right here because I just filmed a little s snippet of it it was really good there was live music and it was so so nice um, I'll of course always link down below the places I've been to all right I'll film now We've just arrived in the best spot to watch this. Ooh, hello. Amok Beach is not attainable. It's actually just a beautiful restaurant right like on the cliff where we're gonna have dinner tonight. But now we're going to the beach called Gamma Beach. So just so you know, Amok Beach not a beach you can access. We have arrived at Gamat Bay beach and now there's a path to walk down so we parked our scooters up there and now we're going down and it looks like a long walk to be honest uh, we're wearing flip-flops so we'll see if we'll make it <laughs> this is the path to go down oh my god it's beautiful it's right there <gasps> oh it's beautiful okay i can't wait to get there but it's, see there's trees and we're wearing flip flops. <laughs> way down it's definitely steep and it's better to have sneakers but it's super worth it and there is nobody absolutely nobody there's a guy that sells coconut on the beach and that's it and there's no shops no restaurant no nothing and it's amazing the sand is super nice and the beach is just beautiful um, pretty cool really cool and not far from like the center of Musa Penida, so it's super easy to access. Ah, to eat the insides! Oh, no. It's a natural spoon! 
Il est peut-être à la cuillère, les gars. C'est bon. C'est pas encore goûté, mais je pense. This is delicious. The gamak beef. You got a lot of coco. Yes. Good. Yes. Not many. Not all. Lisa, was your coconut? Sampai jumpa. Sampai jumpa. Sampai jumpa. <laughs> See you later. This is the last bit to get on the beach, so very slippery. Go, Lisa, go! <laughs> you did it! All right. like yesterday because we loved it so much the vibe is so nice the food is good so and now we are checking out finding our driver and we're going home we might I think we are first going to have a little dip in the pool and then we'll go home uh, the dive this morning was really cool I must say that the snorkeling with the Monterey's was better than the diving but Crystal Bay with the diving was better than in snorkeling that makes sense it was really beautiful the corals are beautiful and it was like a full-on aquarium with like so many very colorful fishes we are going to the <laughs> Salade Perturbée <laughs> Uh, we're going to the port and we're going back home. We absolutely loved this island. It's definitely a must-do if you're around in Bali. And um, what can I say about it? The diving was great. If you like to dive, this is definitely an island you should check out. It's also an island that's pretty big compared to the Gillies or Lembogan. So that's something you should take in account. And this is the end of the vlog. We are going back to Bali. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you are. And I see you on my next vlog. Bye, Nusa Penida. <laughs> Bye, guys.